we got, you know, we got off to a good start. I thought the guys shared the ball. Uh, our tempo, uh, after about the first four minutes, we got better. I thought we, we played a little bit faster. Uh, our activity level on defense was a little bit better. I, I, for the most part, we did some, some pretty good things. Yeah, I'm kind of looking on the stat sheet here, Joe, and I guess if you really have to point for something, you might look at uh, turnovers, maybe 13. But I mean, just all that. Awesome. We had a lot of wasted possessions, especially at the end. We probably turned it over in the second half. I think we had, what, eight at the half. I mean, we got or seven at the half, and we you know, we had some unforced ones that were disappointing. And, you know, we got sloppy for about a two or three minute segment when they got it back to about 14, and we sort of picked it back up. But, but other than that, man, looking around at, at everything, uh, I thought this was probably one of your better all-around performances. Yeah, it was good tonight. balance. I thought the guys came out and put us some energy, and uh, we got a, we got a lot of guys give us some things. And it's, it was also good. We did have a lot of minutes for a lot of guys tonight too, since we had a quick turnaround. At six in a row for you guys, first time, like you just said, non-conference for this program to do that. I, I know you're from Kansas, and you're not doing handstands on anything like that. But it's a pretty nice streak. We're in. Man, Seth Davis was tweeting out some stuff earlier, and he's got you guys in his uh, almost famous portion there. He's almost got you creeping up toward the polls and stuff even. Where, where are you guys at right now, Joe? I think the guys would agree. We're not near where we can get yet, uh, which is good news. So, you know, we've got a lot of things to tighten up. Uh, we've got some things to figure out, but I, you know, I think we've got some versatility. I think the guys have uh, you know, shared the ball. We had 18 assists on 32 field mm -hmm. goals. A lot of those were, you know, we had some plays, but uh, you know, we're gaining on them a little bit. Brandon, where do you think you guys are right now? Um, I think we're just a third of where we could be. Um, we still got to pick it up. Uh, our, our energy wise, you know, energy, and you know, I think we could um, turn down our turnovers. I, I see me, Zach, and Reg. We combined for nine turnovers, so we got to keep that down from our uh, standpoint. And um, I think we did a lot better job guarding the ball tonight mm -hmm. than we've done in the uh, pre previous game. So we're just going to keep taking the steps uh, forward, just playing defense and swinging the ball and, you know, just playing for one another. And, and Mark Eddy tonight, uh, they, they will be down to, uh, I think, 12 or 13 right at the start of the second half, and then you guys were able to explode on them again. Uh, I'm sure you're probably thinking about the last couple of games, kind of letting things get away a little bit, and you're able to go ahead and keep your – Feet on the pedal, just so to speak. This this game. Yeah, well, um, coach been preaching in practice that we need to uh, work on the way we finish games. Um, unfortunately, we had a few games that didn't finish the way we would like it to. But um, we, today um, we took pride in um, working on how we're going to finish the game because we know we start conference. All those games are extremely tight due to the fact that um, it's everybody playing each other. So scouting is very detailed. Um, but overall, that's. That's where we took pride, like Brandon said, defense. So that's what Coach Preach is going to step in. Yeah. Uh, Joe, another another efficient shooting night. What, four in a row, 57% or more, 58% tonight. Uh, you guys are, I think, just inside the top 30 in the country, effective field goal percentage. Uh, what does that do when you know that this offense can go and score the ball, get points? Well, we, we talk about it all the time. I think we're, we feel like we're better than we've been offensively, but the the real deal is what happens when you don't shoot the ball well. Do you guard well enough to when you're not shooting the ball well? I think the thing about it, Mark hasn't really been in a rhythm yet. He's starting, and you can mm -hmm. see today he got more in a rhythm. He made mm -hmm. some unbelievable moves. And mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I think we, we do pass the ball a lot better than we have previous years. And you know, the ball doesn't stick as much, and we move. We can. I think the thing for us is just you know we'll sort of take what the defense gives us when we can score inside a little bit. And you look at tonight's game when you get two points from Zach and Trey combined. Yeah. You, know, you still have an opportunity. To, you know, Mark obviously gave us, you know, uh, Tuck gave us some good points in early, and you know, Meach carried us the other night for a little bit. So uh, you know, we have a couple different ways we can go. Uh, a little more of a press look out of you guys, especially in the first half. We're, we're trying to pick up our end. I mean, we, we're going to we're going to have to play more full court, and that's that's something we've been talking about and working on. The other thing we didn't want to, you know, with three games and five nights, we also have to, you know, have to keep the big picture, you know, in mind also. But I thought the guys did a good job, and we were active. Well, I guess the good news about Tuesday is you're pretty familiar with the foe. It's not like you need to break them all down again. What What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, they, we played them a week ago, and obviously we had some we had some problems with them, especially in the second half. Where it was a game of big runs. Us to begin, and they made a huge run. I think it was a 15-0 run. Um, we made a big run to get it back to nine. We were up nine at the half and uh, had it to 17, and then we, we turned it over. We didn't get back in transition. So I think those are things that we can – Look back. They've only played one game since they played out Minnesota on Friday night. So uh, you know we'll be able to 
take some things from, from that and, and hopefully uh, figure out some things tomorrow. What, what specifically would you like to see the guys do better against this particular team? Well, we turned it over. Uh, I mean, in awful situations. We, we did, you know, turn it over in awful situations where defensive transition wasn't good, our ball screen def defense wasn't as good as it should be, and, uh, you know, those are things we've been working on. Brandon, what are your thoughts on the matchup Tuesday night towards Southern again? <laughs> Uh, just staying consistent defensively and keeping our energy level up. Even if we get out on the run or they get out on the run, you know, just stay within ourselves and you know, play as a team. Don't, you know, don't put your head down and when things don't go our way. And um, I think that would be the most important thing. And also, uh, swinging the ball and keeping our turnovers down. And, and you, Mark Eddie. Um, I just think that um, we need to have a lot of respect for the game and we need to respect every opponent that we play. Um, even though we were fortunate that we won the game um, last time, but it didn't end in a way that we'd like for it to. So therefore, we need to have that in mind. And um, when we play them, we just need to make sure we come out the right way. And also, like I said, the same thing we did this game, finish the game out the right way. So I think that's what the focus on is finishing the game the right way and also starting at the right way.